Hello friends, welcome to BSP Solutions. My name is Basan and today I am going to show you a case of Oracle FCCS that is change of ownership percentage by period. So let's begin. So this is our Excel sheet and same we will put the figures in our application by SmartView and then we will see how the consolidation is being done when there is change in ownership percentage. So here you can see we have a holding which have three subsidiaries u2 u3 and u4 and the structure is 100% 60% and 70% but in u3 we have a change in ownership structure that is in jan it have 60% and in fab it will convert uh, it will change to 80% so let's see so here is our balance sheet and we have different cash figures for all the entities and we have investment by the holding and we have stock and retain earning as well and we have a short term payable also. So let's quickly uh, see the consolidation for the Jan period with the current scenario. Okay, for this we have to first uh, describe the ownership structure of our, of our entities. So let's uh, see that. So we go to consolidation and then we have to see the our scenario year and period for the same. And let's quickly see our ownership structure okay so here is our entity and our u1 is holding and this is our ownership structure i have already done that to save time and for faster calculation so uh, once you put the ownership structure you have to save this and after saving you just have to recompute it if you don't recompute this our figures will not come as expected so so recompletion is successful so let's jump to our excel so i have connected my application through a smart view and now i will put numbers so this is our pov so let's refresh It's taking some time yeah so right now there are some figures but uh, I will make it zero and then I will put numbers here okay it's taking some time okay so it's done so let's let's first uh, put the cash figures and then the stock and the retain earning also so for retain earning we only took sales and we don't have any uh, cost of sales and no other expense so our sales will equal to the retain earning okay so our cash figures are 27,000, 22,000 and 18,000, 15,000. So let's put it 27,000, 22, 18,000 and 15,000. And for the same I will put the revenue figures also. That is retain earning 12,000, 10,000, 8,000 and 5,000. As you can see. 10,000, 8,000, and 5,000. And for stock, we will put 15,000, 12,000, 10,000, and 10,000. 15,000, 12,000, 10,000, and 10,000. And we also have one short term tables. That is 45,000. So let's put it and submit. So figures are, has been submitted now. And uh, let's put the figures for Jan for the investment we are taking. So let's put, put these figures. 
so yeah now I, I have put it the numbers you can see 16,000 15,000 14,000 and the total is 45,000 for the investments okay so let's quickly consolidate consolidate it and see the numbers but before this I will show you the calculation of goodwill so to calculate the goodwill we have to first see the investment that is 45,000 you can see the total of the all the investments and we have net assets that is it is all the stock with the ownership percentage of their subsidiaries so I will tell you the calculation that is 12,000 plus 10,000 into 60% because we have 60% ownership in this and for this we will take 70% so it comes to 25,000 okay so to calculate the goodwill we have to just take the investment minus the net assets and we will have the goodwill next move on to the retained earning for retained earning we will take the retained earning of the holding that is 12,000 and for sub subsidy I will show you the calculation so let's take the calc the retain earning of U2 plus U3 retain earning that is 60% plus 70% of U4. So it comes to 18,300 and the total retain earning will come to 30,300. Same we will do for the minority, minority interest. We will take the stock of all the subsidies that is 12,000 and in the U2 we have 100% ownership so we take 0% stake of that for the minor minority okay and you can skip this also and for U3 we will take the the remaining part of the subsidiary that is 40% and uh, for U4 we will take the remaining part as well that is 30% so it comes to 7,000 7, Plus for the retain earning, we will have 10,000, and for this also, we will have 0% plus 8,000 into 40% plus into 30%, 5,000 into 30%, it comes to 4,700, and total will be 11,700. So as you can see these number will come in our application through smart view and we can see that so let's jump to consolidation so for consolidation we go to navigator data you can see data status actions business rules let's go to consolidate and you have to target our entity that is u underscore 100 in my case that is United States that is the C level and we are going doing it for January so let just launch it it is processing And our scenario should be correct and our years should also correct otherwise we'll we'll don't get any numbers correctly okay so our consolidation is successful so now let's move to our balance sheet so this is a balance sheet and for this we have to select January And yes you can see our figures are coming at the United States that is the C level and our balance sheet is balanced so I quickly match it with the figures so the cash should be 82,000 it is coming as 82 and uh, goodwill will come to 20,000 let's see yes it is coming as 20,000 and our investment will get subtracted or get eliminated you can see and our stock will come as 15,000 it is coming as 15,000 
and uh, wait a second it's lagging i don't know yeah so for retain earning is 30300 as you can see so yes it is coming as 30300 and for minority you can see 11700 it is coming as same figures okay so now our balance sheet is balanced balance for january month and let's quickly change the ownership as you can see our ownership is going to increase in february month okay so jump to the application and change the ownership for february go to consolidation and let's quickly go to february yes so we are in february month and let's see yes for faster calculation i have done i have make it to 80% you can also edit it here and make it 80% and then save and then recompute the ownership again i am going to recompute for the february one select the period and recompute okay so it is successful now move on to our application of our excel and you can see here here are some changes in our working so let's quickly see this so first we have to see our uh, calculation of net assets to calculate calculate the new goodwill we will take the common stock as as well as the retained earning in which the investment has been changed so let's quickly see that that this is 10000 of stock and 8000 of retained earning okay so our retained earning has our uh, investment has been changed from 15000 to 9000 plus 9000 uh that comes to 24000 and previous our investment was 15000 as we have changed the ownership by 20% increase it increase it by 20% so also we have invested some money in that okay so let's quickly see the new goodwill so to so to calculate the new goodwill we will take the changes in investment 9000 and for net asset we uh, overall we have 18000 and we have increased the 20% so 18000 20% come to 3600 so we less that and we see the changes in goodwill as 5400 okay so then we will add the old goodwill and the new new goodwill will come to 25400 you can see okay and i also increase the cash figures you can see it is 4000 in this 2000 in this and 1000 in this same i have increased the retained earning also and for this also okay so now let's calculate the retained earning so to calculate uh, calculate the retained earning we take the retained earning of the holding and then we take the retained earning of the subsidiary to that is 14000 and again is it's stuck okay so for the us3 we are taking the opening retained earning as you can see i will show you the calculation that is in january period what what was our retained earning it was 8000 into 60% it comes to 4800 and our new in retained earning will be we have increased only 2000 so we will take the 80% of 2000 2000 into 80% so it comes to 1600 and total it will become 6400 as you can see okay so in us4 our retained earning should come to 70% of 6000 in this we have no change in our ownership so it will remain as same okay so 
the total retained earning will come to 36600 so let's move on to our MIT interest for likewise we have calculated in the working note 3 for the January period same we will calculate it for this month also okay let me show you okay so we will take the stock or subsidiary so again for the U2 subsidiary we will take the take it as 0% because we have 100% ownership in this and for this now we have 80% uh, we have 80% so we will take 20% of this for minor minority and for this we have 30% minority wait a minute okay so it comes to 5000 plus we again take the retain earning for this it will be 0% plus into 10,000 into 20% plus 6,000 into 30% it comes to 3,800 and the total will come to 8,800 will be the minor minority so let's quickly actually I have put already put in the numbers for the February month like we as we have put it in, in the January month let me show you so it is flow type so we will just add the figures for the February and it, it will sum up for the quarter and for the year okay so for short term papers I have put in 9000 to balance the balance sheet and for investment we have increased the investment in subsidy subsidy uh, subsidy u3 so i have put in 9000 in this okay so let's quickly um, consolidate the balance sheet and see the figures to consolidate we will again go to data status business rules consolidate and you can see here is written Jan month we have to change it to February because we are do, do, doing this in February okay let's quickly search this and select February month and scenarios actual and here is F515 so just launch it okay it is been executed so let's see if our figures are if our balance sheet is cons consolidated or not let's select the February period and refresh okay so our, bal our balance sheet is showing the consolidated figures at the United States so let's quickly match the figures with the February month okay so we have 89,000 cash let's see yeah our cash is 89,000 in February month you can, you can also see the POVs POVs are very important for consolidation and for using a smart view also and we have calculated goodwill that is 25,400 uh, let's see it is coming as it is or not so it is yes it, it is coming as 25,400 and for stock we have 15,000 let's see stock we didn't change so yes it is coming as it is and for retain earning we have 36,600 as we have calculated this okay so let's see our retain earning is also coming as 36,600 and our minority should be 8,800 8, we have calculated it, it before so let's see yes it is also coming as it is so now this is uh, this is our balance sheet and it is balanced you can see okay so this is the case of changes in ownership percentage in 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 by period so if you have, if you have any doubts you can uh, ask at our website or you can connect to a, a website that is bsvsolutions.com and uh, thank you for watching our video